Welcome back everyone for another test as requested we will be testing uh, Kaspersky Free Cloud against um, Avast One. Um, I did install the latest uh, Kaspersky that was available is 21.3. Okay so for Kaspersky we'll quickly look at the settings. Um, in this test we'll be using the um, automatic mode. Um, previously we just used the uh, block mode but we'll see how well the, auto the automatic works in this test. Um, but still, all files, deep scan, um, etc. Web antivirus is also performed automatically. Okay, mail antivirus we're not using. Um, network attack block. MC integration. Okay, system watcher also set to do everything automatically. Uh, KSN enabled. Um, and yeah, that's that. On the general, um, self defense um, is enabled. The only exclusion we have is obviously for the script. That's that for um, Kaspersky. So now, now for um, Avast. Okay, so it's updated to the latest version as well. Okay, so on the file shield, uh, fix automatically, resolve automatically. Unwanted tools, advanced settings, okay, exclusion file script, web shield, okay, ransomware protection. These are the folders that are protected. It's under smart mode. And firewalls enabled. Yeah, so that's that for a vast. Quickly, then I disable the protection so that we can start this test. Okay, now that all malware has been extracted, it's time to update these programs. Okay, so Kaspersky is almost done with the update. I think it's time to enable the protection. Okay, so we have 2,286 samples for today. So resume the protection. Okay, security cloud is enabled. Um, Avast is also good to go. Okay, so I think it's time for our first stage, which is the malicious website. So let's get that going. Okay, so everything is starting to open up. Avast is giving us our pop-ups. Okay, so all these that are not loading is a vast that seems to have blocked them. We still have one that seems to be loading. Okay, so it seems like um, a vast has blocked all the pages. This vast is still loading some of them. Look at downloads. Okay, downloads is empty, nothing downloaded. Okay, 
Okay, so for the downloads are empty, these are the different um, security clouds I wanted to test. Um, but yeah, can't see that anything's downloading so far. Uh, looks like only some of the pages has the um, Kaspersky logo on them. Okay, so it looks like a vest is done. Okay, that's good to see. This mask is maybe loading this one. Okay, so it seems like web test was successful for them both. Um, it's now time for the malware test. Let's just jump right in. Okay, so now we're executing the malware. Okay, I'm gonna attend to this guys. You guys know the routine by now. Um, if anything interesting happens, I'll point it out, but I'm just going to attend to this test and then we'll look at the, the results. Okay, so now that all the malware has been executed, so for Kaspersky, seems like we have no startup items. Um, we do have this one here that's still running. Um, it seems like it's the only one. Um, for the vast um, startup, uh, can't seem to find anything. And then what's running is, let's have a look. Okay, so nothing is running, so I'm going to restart this machine, update them, and start the full scans. Okay guys, so I'm back at my desk, apologies for the delay. Um, so the full scans are completed. Um, There's 52 objects I've resolved just now. So full scans completed for um, a vast, there's 25 malware. Um, that it seems it can't remove. So I'm gonna um, restart these two machines. You can see um, Kaspersky is green, so it's happy. So I'm gonna restart them both, and then we can jump into the um, third body opinion scans. Okay, the final results are in, so let's have a look see. Um, for Kaspersky, it seems like we have a core heatman pro, this one file um, directly on the C drive. And then for um, a vast, doesn't seem like there's anything. Okay, so both Nortons are saying it's clean. Okay. Um, Okay, so F-Secure on both these machines have not found any problems. Okay, so for Komodo for a smart scan, not a full scan, also nothing. Okay, for um, MSI Soft, also nothing has been found. Okay, so the Kaspersky virus removal tool obviously found nothing as well. And for malware bytes also as nothing has been found. So between these two, it's only um, Heatman Pro that was able to find something on the um, Kaspersky machine. So let's have a look see at the startup items. Okay, while we wait, let's look at um, Avast. Um, everything seems normal. These are the normal startup items. Um, for Process Explorer, can't see any processes that are looking dodgy. Okay, so that's that for Process Explorer. Okay, so Process Explorer for um, Kaspersky. <coughs> Uh, 
Okay, so everything seems good. Yeah, doesn't seem like there's any funny startup items. Let's look at our files. Okay, downloads, downloads, nothing is damaged. Uh, nothing there, that is a uh, backup file for Kaspersky. Okay, so our pictures are in order. Let's quickly see if anything installed maybe. Okay, so Kaspersky seems clean as well. I think this might be a broken shortcut. Yeah, so that's a broken shortcut. Okay, so I think that is the test for this guy. So let's have a look see at the pros and cons for um, Kaspersky. The only con that I can actually see is the one malware that Hitman Pro found. Um, none of the other third party opinion vendors actually found that malware. Um, and yeah, I would say that's most probably the only con. Um, Kaspersky did really well in this test. Um, there's no startup items. There is no ransom infections, I um, can't see that there is any IOCs on the machine, it's not slow or problematic, so I would say Kaspersky did really well. Um, for a vest, um, cons, I can't find any cons. Um, all the other third-party opinion scanners um, did not find anything um, suspicious on the machine, uh, there is no startup items, no ransom infection, etc. So it's an extreme close call between these two, but um, I would most probably lean towards a vest because um, of the result that Hitman Pro was able to return. Um, it was also the only one of the third party um, scanners. that actually found something so I'm gonna purely base my results on that is um, for Kaspersky there is one item that was triggered for Avast it doesn't seem like there's any but it is a extremely close call between these two they both did exactly the same in the web test um, malware testing is extremely um, similar so it's actually hard to choose but I would more lean to Avast because of the one malware that was found by Hitman Pro on the Kaspersky machine but you can make your own conclusion great results from from these two vendors um, let me know what you guys thought about this test I'll do the other tests as you guys have requested uh, but for now I hope it was informative thanks for watching all the videos guys um, I do really appreciate it and I'll catch you guys in the next one